Sana, it's Mimi. I have a book to read for you. It's called Dumbo. Dumbo's an elephant and he lives in the circus, but he's a very special elephant. You just wait and see. Ready? Today is a special day. The Starks are bringing babies to all the circus animals. But where is Mrs. Jumbo's baby? Here he comes. The other elephants peek in to say hello. Mrs. Jumbo loves her new baby. She names him Jumbo Junior. But the other elephants laugh at Jumbo. They've never seen a baby elephant with such enormous ears. Jumbo, says one of the elephants. You mean Dumbo. There's a picture of him and his great big ears. The children point and laugh at Dumbo too. Mrs. Jumbo gets very angry. The ringmaster locks her up away from the other elephants, including Dumbo. So Dumbo ends up with only one friend who never laughs at his ears, Timothy the mouse. Timothy thinks Dumbo could be a star one day. Oh, if only the others thought so too. Poor Dumbo. The ringmaster makes him perform with the clowns. Timothy takes Dumbo to see his mother. Dumbo falls asleep happily and dreams that he can fly. And then Timothy discovers Dumbo really can fly. Dumbo doesn't believe it either. So Timothy gives his friend the magic fe feather. Soon Dumbo holds that feather and he's flying like a bird. Back at the circus, Dumbo sits atop the high tower. With his magic fe feather, he and Timothy will fly gracefully to the ground. What a great trick. But then Dumbo drops the feather. And as they fall, Timothy convinces Dumbo that he's special. He doesn't need a feather to fly. Dumbo can fly with his amazing ears. Now Dumbo is a circus sensation. He and his mother live happily ever after. And they there are riding on a train together, Dumbo and his mom. The End